In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install your new overlay template into StreamYard. First, let's go to Streamer Templates and I'll walk you through the process of purchasing and downloading your new template. I am going to use Super Chunk here. And next, all you have to do is pick out how you want to pay for it, either adding it to cart or using PayPal. I'm going to use PayPal for mine. Okay, so after you input all your payment information, you'll be here on the Streamer Template checkout page. You just complete your order and follow through from there. Once your order is complete, you now will have two options. First option is you can download the zip file directly to your computer, or you can wait for an email that you will also receive with the zip file linked from it. If you don't get that email in about 10 to 15 minutes, check your spam folder. But I'm gonna download mine here directly from the website. Okay, once you download the file, you have to go locate it on your computer to where you typically download your files to. Once you find that zip file, you have to decompress it. Now I'm on a Mac, so the way that I would decompress this file is just by double clicking on it, and it will extract all the files into that same folder. If you're on a PC, you find that same zip file and right click on it and say extract all. Once you have extracted the files, the next thing you want to do is edit them and make them your own. You need to visit StreamerTemplates.com for videos that show just how to do that. You can also look in the description for links to those tutorial files. Now, after you have made them your own, we're going to jump into StreamYard and I'm going to show you how to upload them and use them. So let's go to StreamYard.com and we're going to start a new broadcast. Okay, now that we're in the StreamYard interface, what we want to do is focus ourselves on the brand button over here in the sidebar. So we're going to go to brand. And then this area is where you have your brand colors, which you can pick to the different themes, a logo placement, overlays, video clips, and backgrounds. But we're going to focus on overlay and background for this tutorial. Now, before we go any further, let me give you a quick description of what backgrounds and overlays are for. Backgrounds sit furthest to the back away from the viewer. Overlays are the closest thing to the viewer. So if you want to think about it this way, overlay is over on top. Backgrounds are back and at the bottom. Because if you upload a background graphic, which typically does not have any transparent areas in it, to overlay, and then place that into your broadcast, you're gonna cover up your video screen and won't be able to see yourself. Now, later on, when I add myself to this tutorial, you'll be able to see how they stack. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and upload these pieces. So first, let's upload some overlays. So we're just gonna click the plus here for the overlay. Click it, hit open, and it uploads to my display deck just that quickly, right? And let's upload the second one now. Just click plus again and we'll upload the second one. And now we're gonna upload two background files. So let's click plus for the background. And then we're gonna add our second background. Okay, so there we are. Let me add myself to the stream now. And one little thing that I wanna make sure that you know about is if you scroll down to the bottom of your brand window, you want to turn off show display names because then that way the graphics that you're using will be the main graphics and not the built-in graphics of StreamYard. So make sure you toggle that off, right? So to turn on an overlay, it's as simple as clicking the overlay, right? If you want to change the overlay and you have more than one, just click on the new overlay. To turn the overlay off that you happen to have on, just click on it a second time. And it is that simple, right? Turn it on, change it, change it, turn it off. It's as simple as that. Backgrounds work the same way. But for you to be able to see the background, what I'm going to do is add a second version of myself to the screen so you can see two video windows. And here I am a second time. And I'm going to change the layout so the background will be visible. So here we are with the layout that you can see a background with, right? So let me scroll down here to the background and we're going to use our glitch background first, right? So here's the background in action 
And then we can also change out the background just like we changed out the overlay, right? And here's another background. Now you can have a background and an overlay on the screen at the same time, but you cannot have on two backgrounds and you cannot have on two overlays, but you can have one of each on the screen at the same time. And let me show you that. So right now we have our background on, we're just going to scroll up here and we're going to turn an overlay on. So as you see now, my overlay frame is on and the background is on. And you can utilize that in different ways to have some creativity within your design. If you have any questions or if there was something confusing in this tutorial or just didn't make sense, please leave a comment below and we'll answer your questions there. Thanks for watching.